How did this RC jet go from being lodged in a tree to flying through the air once again? To see how this happened, we need to go back to the jet's maiden flight, where things didn't exactly go as planned. Dude, that tree saved my Wait, did it hit a tree? Like oh, no, I think it's in the tree. I think I see it. As we walked over to the jet, I thought it was beyond repair. But the closer we got, the more we realized how lucky we actually were. <laughs> Yo, look. <laughs> Yo, that's actually sick. This. It has shit. into a wire there. You would have a massive just hole in this side. Somehow, the fuselage ended up almost intact, with the tree catching the jet by the wings and stopping it mid-fall, almost like how SpaceX catches Starship's heavy booster. Now that the tree gave us a second chance, what changes do we need to make to ensure this won't happen again? Watching the flight back, the problem was obvious. Even at full elevator and aileron input, the jet barely lifted off the ground and refused to roll, showing it had very poor control authority. So after removing all the damaged areas from the jet, I then made the new and improved wings, featuring smoother leading and trailing edges, and larger ailerons for sharper roll control. Next, I installed the wings farther forward on the fuselage, shifting the center of gravity with them to give the elevator more authority through greater torque. After completing the main changes, I wrapped things up by increasing the elevator surface area to ensure solid pitch control. With some luck regarding the crash and a few quick repairs, the jet was ready to take to the skies once again. Oh my god. I can't see it. Holy shit. Where is it? It's so fast. It's so loud too. Dude, oh my god, we cannot see anything against the sun. Where did it come? <laughs> I, can't, I can't even track it. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. Dude, it's like so hard to track with the sun.
Yeah, I'm gonna go to like the safe spot beside you. Who are we landing visually? Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Remember to pull up, remember to pull up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it could have been worse. <laughs> Okay, so the flight went amazing, but my hands are actually frozen. Like we we like we were so focused on the flight we forgot it was negative ten degrees outside, so like my hands are actually frozen, dude, but the recording dude, the camera yeah. gets cold too, so it's like holding yeah. like a piece of fucking it was freezing insane, metal. Yeah. Flight was amazing. Honestly, that was like the best flying jet I've ever made. It was actually so smooth. Control is perfect, I just fucked up the landing like always, but Again, I didn't fly visually for like what, like two yeah, months. Yeah, we've been flying that. Yeah, yeah. For so so, long, so odd, like landing that. Okay, but it came in so nicely. Like, wait, I did break the wheel, but then it came in really nicely. Yeah, yeah. So that was amazing, and yeah, I mean, nothing broke on the plane. The only thing that broke was the landing gear. Yeah. And after, like, after that, I brought in nicely. And nothing else broke, so that was nice. And I, my theory for the, because we have suspension, I think like it should have probably survived that like hit. Yeah. But I think the freezing temperatures like made the landing gear more brittle, so it probably, oh. especially the three print PLA, that should just snapped right away. But yeah, I, dude, I thought I was just gonna lose control at one point because like it was so cold. That's yeah. like before we took off the servos were already a little bit <laughs> yeah, sluggish. Already so slow. yeah. Despite the odds stacked against us, from crashing into a tree to flying in extreme cold, we somehow managed to get this jet airborne. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one.